I've got two particularly good friends in America, Mark Sensitacati, who's a magician, and Rufus, who's um, an inventor. Well, they're both inventors, actually. And they both send me things from time to time. And this is 2002, and they both sent me little gems. This one here, which I'll do in a minute, but I'll do this one first, which is his Christmas card or New Year card or something. And it's from this fella who's a very, very fine magician, but also an inventor. And he's suggesting, well, he's first of all wishing me a happy season for 2003. And then he's suggesting in the top that I should unroll that piece at the top, because you see it's got layers there, uh, piece by piece slowly and see what happens. So there we are, there's him looking at us. And now we've got the first load down and the fly has come down and his eyes are crossing over to try and focus on the fly that's about to touch his or land on his nose, I suppose. You do another layer down and now it's come down to his cheek so he can cope with that. He looks back at you again and there's another layer and oh dear, what's going to happen here? Oh, I've got a nasty feeling that he's opened his mouth for... Uh, to let the fly in, I suppose. Yes, oh dear, yes. Time flies. He's half eating the fly now. My goodness. My goodness. That's a very clever card, though, isn't it? A lot of fun to do, a lot of fun to show, and something far too good to throw away when we finish with Christmas and New Year. So that's 17, 18 years ago, and I still enjoy looking at it from time to time. And also the same year, I got this delightful pencil from Rufus, the other foot friend, who makes these some um, kind of uh, moray pattern type effects like this. And this is that's that's his company. It's called I Think with a with a with an I there, and then uh, on the the uh, the word says I Think dot com or something. Um, and this is this is very nice because when I when I hold it up there, actually, because you'll see it against the white background, it's saying I heart you. It looks like yes, I heart you. So there's I, and there's a heart, and there's a bit of you. Ooh, you. I think you realise that, of course, what it's saying is, I love you. So it's a very nice little thing, perhaps to send at um, Valentine's Day to somebody, and it's a pencil top, and it just pops off like that. Couldn't be simpler. Very, very nice. Two very nice items from clever, inventive friends. I then found something which I've had there for ages, never actually got this to going. It was some of these clocks and things, but it looked a bit more elaborate. I wonder what it was all about. So took it all to pieces. Then I discovered what it is. It's really very clever, this. It's very get up to focus. It's got um inside it's got a sort of um a heavy weight there. And then there's a ball bearing race around the outside of it, which allows this to move very smoothly with very little friction. And what this means, and there's two buttons there to press to set the date and the time and the months and everything else. What it means you can have it um any way you like, any way you like. For instance I'll put it on this cube here. So, oops, there's it. So there's the clock, and if I start turning it, if, if I want to put it sideways on something, it will accommodate that by turning sideways. If I do it like that, it'll still come back upright because of that heavy weight it's carrying it around. So whichever way I do it, it's staying upright, which is very neat, isn't it? A very nice little thing, a bit like a robot and so on, but all it is is just that, and this heavy weight with ball bearing races can make it move very, very frictionlessly to any way, and with gravity pulling it down, it's going to behave itself and always represent an upright picture. I haven't quite set the clock bit mechanism right, but never mind, we'll have a go at that in due course. So, a clever one, that. And the last item is just a delightful um, piece of plastic nonsense, but it's actually very clever, this. It's uh, supposed to be, I think, chopsticks, picking up bits of rice mm, in the mouth. But there's always a bit of fluid at the end, sometimes very, very, very tasty. Some of the, some of the soups, especially with noodle soups, you want to have a spoon, so there's a spoon on the end. Isn't that nice? I've never seen that done before. A little spoon with the chopsticks at one end and the spoon at the other end. Delicious. I'll take it to the next Chinese meal.